Washington tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Cougars have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you've got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. And he's tackled at the 42-yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. He's taken down at the 47-yard line. That one's more than good enough for the first down. Well, Brad, that is a great play by the quarterback to find his target past the marker to keep this drive moving. And he can't get away from the pressure. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Complete, but out of bounds. Going to lose some ground. And he's tackled right away. Well, they get all those yards, but come up just shy of the first. Good play call, almost perfect execution, except for the fact that they're not going to get the first down. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. He's tackled at the 42. Defense stiffens on fourth down, and the ball will change hands. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin him up and cause the turnover on downs. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Here's the halfback on the screen. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you got to take your hat off to the defense. All week, they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field, and they really shut him down that time. Oklahoma! Quick out to his receiver. He's taken down at the 47. Scrambles. He's at the 30. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Gets it out quickly. And down he goes around the 19-yard line. That brings up second and one. He's got an opening. Tackled after decent pickup. From the 15 yard line, it's first down. Tackle made around the seven yard line. Down at the six yard line. Gain of one on the play. Third down. Three down, three down. Touchdown, Washington.
He makes the PAT. So a nine play 59 yard drive and the result seven points. Brad I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now seven nothing. And it goes into the end zone down for a touchback. Washington's really got things working right now. For I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. Quick strike to the receiver. And they make the stop at the 29 yard line. It's the sophomore that's got it. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. Tackle at about the 45. Throws to the receiver and he's got it again. That brings up second and one. And he's tackled around the 26 yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. Mike 10. First down. Mike 10, Mike 10. Hey, we got to get the stop here, D. Alert, alert, alert. And he's taken down at the 21 yard line. Gain of five yards. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 21. Good open field tackle. Number 22 on the tackle. That's a 15 yard run. First down. The 10. Touchdown, Washington State. He is such a talented, skillful back, as you saw right there. What makes him even better is that these coaches know how to use him. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. Washington State lines up for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Complete. He's got room. He's tackled around the 29-yard line. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. Throws to the back quickly, off his hands, incomplete. Third and six. Ball on their own 29. Flips it, middle to the running back, and he's immediately tackled. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. And this one is a beauty. From the 15. And he's taken down at the 24-yard line. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, and you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. We've played one quarter. We're even at seven in this one.
Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. He's taken down at the 41-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Makes the catch and look out. What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. First down. And he snags that one. They'll bring him down at the 12. Makes the reception. Call it a game of 14 yards. First down. Watch the screen! 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 Watch the screen. Dangerous pass, and they just about had it going the other way. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. From the 12-yard line. It's second down. And they got it. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. All day, dog. Tens the mic. Tens the mic. Take go. Gets it out. He's met immediately. Loss of five there. That play was sort of out of sync from the start. But you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Washington State is looking to go up by three. Kicks away. And he splits the uprights. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. 10-7, Washington State. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He's tackled in the open field. That makes it first and ten. Hey, 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 hey. Blue 19. Throws it in a hurry. And down he goes at the 49 yard line. a great tackle at the 50-yard line. That's good for a game of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Mike 51, Mike 51. Set, alert, alert. Blue 19. Run, run, run. Hand off to the right. He fights forward to about the 49. That's a game of one on the play. That will bring up third and eight. He's out of bounds at the 45. That makes it fourth and four. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. Booming kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Washington State is up a field goal. Slings it to his fullback. And he's level at the 22. That's good for a game of two yards. That makes it second and eight.
Quick shot, the defender tips it away. When you play the quarterback position, you have to be able to read the defense and look off defenders. He didn't really do that on that pass. He was lucky it was only a tip and not a pick. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And he tackles him hard at the 30-yard line. Roger, Roger. First like 10. Down. Like 10, like 10. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Fires quickly, and he's got his man, and he's hit immediately. That'll bring up third and two. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for a game of seven yards. That makes it first and ten. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Tackle made at the 49. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. Here's the eighth play of the series. Washington State is up by three. Fires across the middle, and he is drilled at the 41. Gain of eight on the play. First down. Check, check, check. Down at the 26 yard line. That's a good one. First down. You don't want it, you don't want none of it. Pick up the ball. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. He hits the PAT. A 10 play, 81 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. The score now 17 7. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? him hard at the 42 yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. He's scrambling. Dives for extra yardage. the stop around the 39 yard line that makes it second and two quick pass and he's finally shoved out at the 10 yard line They go first and goal down by a couple of possessions. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. Around the two yard line. Set a tone, brothers. Let's set a tone. That makes us third and goal. Mike 51. They bring him down in the backfield. Lost a few yards on the play. 
That brings up fourth and goal. Fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. Washington ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Washington State's offense is just clicking on all cylinders for me right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. Second and seven. Ball on their own 28. Great first half of action, and we're hoping for more of the same. 17-10, Washington State. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover march. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And, and it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Red and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Caught open field, knocked out of bounds around the 34-yard line. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and he's tackled at the 38-yard line. Give to the back and hit hard for a loss. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on their own 36. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Throws complete. He's hammered. Throws out to the tight end again, completes. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Slings it. Mike 
I'll give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. That'll make it third and five. This is the eighth play of this drive. Gets it out quickly. And he's taken down right around the 30. He's at the 20. Makes it out to about the 16. Tries to buy some time. The 10. Big play, and it's first and goal. Pitch out. Got the corner. Touchdown, Huskies. Once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. The defense has to come out and make a stop on the next drive so this offense can get to work again. They aren't out of this game yet. We'll be tied with the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. An 11 play, 75 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Good game here, 17-17. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Fires out to his wideout. From their own 30-yard line. Yeah. Second down. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a two-yard loss. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Oh, he got nailed on that one. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Going deep, lays it out there, drops. Number four, the intended receiver. It's second and ten. Ball on their own thirty. to the receiver. He's tackled right around the 38-yard line. Fires out to his receiver. They'll bring him down at the 50. Scramble. He's at the 30. He's taken down at the 22 yard line. Make 
takes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. That's good work for you. Three yards. That'll make it second to seven. He's immediately tackled. Straight run here, and he's got nowhere to go. Loss of three on the play. That brings him second and goal. And this play is number eight on the drive. Three down, three down. Mike 51, Mike 51, set! He's gonna try and scramble. And down he goes, right around the four yard line. That's a deep seven. That makes us down. Mike 51, Mike 51. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. That's a deep two on the play. This one should be makeable. Washington could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and they tack on three points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. There's a strike complete. That'll make it second and four. Mike 10! Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Nice run up the middle. Gain of seven yards. First down. He's hit and taken down. Throwing right. Caught. Touchdown, Cougars. You know, any time this guy touches a ball, he has the ability to go the entire length of the field with that speed. And he converts the extra point. Washington State is lining up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. The Cougars staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. He's under some heat. He hauls it in and gets out of bounds. He rifles it to the left. Good tackle. He was the last line of defense. Can they pull off the upset? Well, we're going to find out as we head into the fourth quarter. 24-20, Cougars. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Mike 
The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Tackle made at the 12. for the passing game. It was absolutely the right call in that situation. Trying to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Oh, he's obviously come in here with a plan. He knows what he wants to do, and he's just getting the job done. He won't be too happy to see his efforts wasted in a game like this against one of their bitter rivals. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Just throws this one away. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Fires it out. And they make the stop right around the 40. Gaining 15 yards. First down. Got a man. Watch out here. And he's level at the 48 yard line. That's a team of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. Watch the screen, watch the screen, watch the screen, watch the screen, watch the screen. Check, check, check. Disco Raver, Disco Raver. He's in trouble. And he is drilled at the 46 yard line. Mike 10. First down. Mike 10, Mike 10. If you don't get this boy, you think you're going to get this? Check, check, check. Disco check, right. Right. Disco right. Steps out of bounds. The 47 yard line. Dumps it out left to the running back. He has some room. That's a great tackle at the 37. He's got it with room to run. Out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. I love to watch quarterbacks on third down to just kind of see where they are as far as their psyche and, and their, their approach to the game. This is another big third down. He was able to sit back, evaluate the defense, had just enough time to be able to make the throw. They pick up the first down, they get a new set down. And he tackles him hard at the 24. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. They bring the quarterback down. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Less than three minutes in the game. Throws it deep. Touchdown! What a run 
to take the lead. receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. You've always got to be on your toes when you're covering this guy. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Washington's ranking, that doesn't mean anything right now. Now they've not played up to their expectations at all, but they have the football here late in the game. They're very fortunate to still have a chance to maybe win it because they've not looked like themselves. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Caught out in the open. He's to the 40. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. Sacked for a loss. Loss of six yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Oh, and he can't hang on. Huge drop there. Number four is the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and long. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. He's under some heat. He airs it out. Almost picked off. Number four breaks up the pass. That, that makes, makes it fourth and long. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. <laughs> Booming kick. <laughs> he fields the punt at the 13. Brought down at the 24-yard line. They're two for two in finding the end zone on their last two drives. Let's see how they do here. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. And he's tackled at the 33. Washington's going to use their first time out of the half here. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. And now he's got room to run. Tackle around the 45-yard line. The Huskies are going to call their second time out. out to around the 45. The Huskies using their third and last timeout. They give to the tailback. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Taken down at the 43. Huge first down right there by the offense, Brad. At this point, they're just trying to work the clock and preserve the victory. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. We had a fight to the finish here today. 31-27, Cougars.
Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Washington State came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.